Hi, I'm Dr. Tom Schell with New Bell Research and Curios Products. I get a lot of emails every day, every week from horse owners that are trying to solve their horse's health and lameness conditions. And a lot of the times I try to help, but there's still a lot of confusion that's out there. Um, and I'm hoping to resolve some of that confusion. Now, as a veterinarian, I do believe in the benefits and value of medications and injections. However, truth be told, most of the horse's conditions that we're dealing with in terms of health and lameness are long-term or chronic health conditions. And while these medications do have some benefit in some of these patients, they are not really getting to the root problem, which is the imbalance in the horse. Now, there's a lot we can do and we really should do, but our desires and our motives sometimes interfere and keep us from gaining the knowledge and the understanding to properly manage them for the best outcomes. Alternative medicine. Alternative medicine is tremendous or provides tremendous value to these horses when applied properly. Um, to me, I do not like the term alternative medicine because really herbs and whole foods should not be an alternative. They should be our main course of therapy um, included in every protocol, whether we use medications or we don't use medications. However, alternative medicine needs to be used properly. And with that, we must have a basic level of knowledge. So with that, Nouvelle Research is all about education. We have a lot of articles, we have a lot of videos that help to educate our clients and our customers to help you and to help your horse. What we're hoping to do here and what we are doing is releasing some online courses that might help to guide you as a horse owner a little bit further in terms of gaining more knowledge that might help you to get to the point to where you are um, um, making some positive gains with your horse's condition. I can help to a certain degree um, through an email, through a phone conversation, but it greatly immenses your progress and your outcome if you can also have a certain level of understanding. What we have done is, is we have released a series of courses, starting with one course, which is an introduction to herbs and whole foods in the horse. And through this course, it serves as a foundation or a basis for future courses to help you to expand your knowledge. So let's take a look. All right, guys. So if you go to nouvelleresearch.teachable.com, this is going to be the URL for our online courses that we'll be offering now and moving into the future. Um, and there you will access this website here, Learning the Ways of Alternative Medicine for Health and Vitality. Um, again, right now we're starting with the horse, but we hope to incorporate many other courses moving forward in the future to help you with your education needs and knowledge. And so if you scroll down, then you'll come into our first course, which is Introduction to Herbs and Food in the Horse. And you will be directed to this page. This is going to be our core course, our base course for all courses moving forward in the horse. Reason being is, is this course is going to go through whole foods, herbs, um, Ayurvedic medicine, traditional Chinese medicine to give you a foundation or base of knowledge that we are then going to apply in future courses. So if you scroll down, what we get in this course is three sections. Um, and in each section, we've got two different lectures. So in section one, we've got an introduction to the course and an introduction to foods and herbs where we go through what is a whole food, what are the benefits of whole foods, uh, what are herbs, and what are they used for. Section two, we get into digestion in the horse, the importance and why things go wrong, very in-depth. And then we get into alternative medicine and theories. Um, again, very in-depth to where we get into the concepts of Ayurvedic medicine and traditional Chinese medicine regarding um, uh, de deficiencies, excesses, trying to recognize patterns in the horse, which then guide us with our alternative medicine therapies with herbs and whole foods. Then we get into section three, where we have application of the theories that we learned up here, um, things we look for in the horse to kind of guide us and tell us whether if certain patterns are present, um, deficiencies, excesses, etc. And then finally, we have energetics and properties of foods and herbs. Um, and in this section here, I go over about 20 or 25 different whole foods and herbs that we use in our rehab facility, the energetics behind the herbs, how we use them, and even the doses behind them. So with each section, we've got a quiz after each section that's included in the course, um, and we must pass the quiz to move on. And then at the end, I've got a five essay question uh, to where I give you different cases and have you go through them and respond back. And it helps us to make sure that we are learning what we should 
and gather any information to move forward. So again, this is a very, very important course, tremendous amount of information that can greatly assist you if you apply it. Um, as a side note, if you just go to nouvelleresearch.com, uh, we do intermittently, we'll be running promotions on this course, which are discounts, and you can also visit us on our Facebook page. So with that being said, the information is available to you. Um, I can try to help and to guide you outside of the course, but it's much better if we do gain the information for ourselves, because then if I do try to help, you'll understand where I'm coming from and why the application of the herbs and the whole foods or even other things such as exercise or chiropractic work or other modalities, why they're important. So knowledge is there, the information is there, and we hope you take advantage of the course.